Hi everyone, today I'm going to present AutoML Pipeline Package, which is a toolbox for building machine learning pipelines. Let me start with a brief introduction of myself. I'm Paulito Palmes. I am working in IBM Dublin Research Lab as a research scientist, and I belong to the group where our focus is in AI and machine learning optimization. These are my collaborators in IBM Research, Akihiro, Rado, Pari, and Elizabeth. Let me start with the problem overview. So given is a set of preprocessing elements, or PRP, including feature selectors, or FS, such as categorical features, numerical features, scalars, or SC, such as norm, min-max, standardized scaling, robust scaling, and feature extractors, or FX, such as principal component analysis, independent component analysis, and factor analysis, and learners, or LR, such as random forest, XGB, SVM, and many others. The problem is that we would like to find the optimal pipeline, which is composed of the union of the particular uh, sequence of elements, which are feature scaling, a uh, feature selector scaling, and feature extractor, together with the learner, such that the combination of these uh, pipelines will give us the best performance. So basically, our PRP is one of the combination of the feature selector, scalar, and feature extractor where x pipe f represents f of x, and x plus y represents the union or concatenation of the features x and y. We can also represent the problem as a summation of PRPs from 1 to n, where n is a certain number such that their union together with the learner is the most optimal. So basically, we would like to optimize the matching between the set of preprocessing elements and the learner such that the chosen preprocessing pipeline together with the learner is optimum. So the complexity of this problem is uh, basically can be computed as the number of preprocessing pipelines times the number of learners and this is exponential or combinatorial in complexity. So I'd like to uh, Take note that the limitation of our approach is that we are only focused right now in the pipeline structure optimization, and there's no hyperparameter optimization, and the application is only for classification tasks. The current tokens that you can use to solve this problem are the scikit-learn from um, Python, which uh, support pipeline and feature union and all these feed transform and all these machine learning uh, functions like uh, predictions and regression. Carrot is from our libraries. It has no pipeline uh, architecture, but it is uh, meant for hyperparameter optimization. And then Lally from IBM, which runs on top of scikit-learn and extends its functionalities, with the main focus of uh, developing algorithms for cache or incorporating existing algorithms for cache. Cache represents combined algorithm, selection, and hyperparameter optimization. Lale has uh, support for Bayesian optimization, tree search, evolutionary search, random search, and stochastic search. AutoML Pipeline is a Julia package that makes it trivial to create and evaluate machine learning pipeline architectures. And let me show you sample, sample, some demo to show the usage of AutoML Pipeline. So you will see two panes here, the pane at the top represents the code uh, written in Julia, and the pane in the bottom is the contains the Julia rep repel. So first, I'd like to, uh, let's load the AutoML ML pipeline, and then the distributed package, and then the data frames. These are some uh, packages that we will be using. The distributed package will be used for 
parallel uh, processing or parallel research of the pipeline later. So because we're doing parallel research, let, let's add uh, workers. So right now we have uh, nine workers and one of the worker is the main dispatcher. And then now that we have created the workers, let's load our pipeline and data frames to all of these workers. So the app everywhere is a macro that tells uh, um, the main dispatcher to send this auto ML pipeline and data frame packages to the and load it to the workers also. So now let's load a typical data set that we will be using for our demonstration. So the data set is composed of uh, features for uh, football games and the target uh, can be found in the first column and the target is to 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 predict whether the football game is held at home or away using the different features that uh, the different features is consi uh, are consist of uh, categorical features and numerical features so these are, these are the input features it contains two categorical features and the rest are numerical features and this is the target uh, output which is uh, either away or at home now um, to process this uh, data set let's load some of the important uh, purposing elements that we will be needing so categorical features for selecting category categories numerical features for uh, selecting uh, numerical uh, feature uh, numerical feature selector for numerical features and then habit encoding to translate the uh, uh, categorical features to habits and then we also will be needing robot scaling uh, power transform min max scaling standard scaling and normalizer we also will uh, include uh, feature extractors such as pca ica and FA or factor analysis. We will also include uh, several learners such as random forest, gradient boost, linear SVC, MLP or the neural network, uh, stack ensemble, uh, RBF, SVC, other boost classifier, voting ensemble, best learner, uh, tree pruning or prune tree, stochastic gradient uh, classifier, no op for uh, identity or no operation and let's now have some examples of uh, symbolic pipeline expression using auto ml uh, pipeline so in the first example here we are just indicating that we are interested with the categorical features and then in the second example here we would like to translate the categorical features by bit to hot bit encoding so that um, all uh, the features will be represented as numbers instead of categories or, or instead of strings. You can also select only the numerical features by using NumF, the numerical feature selector, and you can uh, transform these numerical features into a normalized form between 0 and 1 by using this pipeline. Now you can combine both the numerical features and the categorical features where the numerical feature is transformed into normalized form and the categorical features uh, are hot bit encoded. So you will see now that the first four columns are normalized uh, form of the numerical features and the rest of the columns are the hot bit encoded form of the categorical features. Now with this transformation, we can add the learner to find out whether this particular pipeline uh, is optimal or not. So we can uh, get its cross-validation performance. So this is the pipeline. We can now predict and then we can now cross-validate. So the result is around 63% to 64% for the random variance. It can also go as high as 66 percent what about if we try the lsvc which is the linear svc with using the same pipeline let's run this so you'll notice that with linear svc the 
the value is much higher, like 69 to 70 percent uh, accuracy. What about RBFSVC? So let's change this to RBFSVC. RBFSVC is not uh, really better than the linear SVC. What about prune tree? Or tree only, I think. Yeah, tree uh, or the prune tree is really, really bad. Um, it's it's the worst uh, um, classifier among the things that we tested. What about uh, stochastic gradient? Yeah, SGD is quite uh, better compared to random forest and RBF. We can also make a much more complicated pipeline by having by adding more elements like here numerical feature is normalized and then PCA transform together with the numerical feature robustly scaled and PCA transform together with categorical features uh, have been encoded and then we use the linear SVC as our learner. Here you'll notice that the performance is much better than the previous performances like it is around 72 to 74 percent what about uh, three again let's see where the performance improved prune, prune tree uh, actually did not improve its performance with this even with this complicated pipeline what about random forest yeah random forest also did not improve what about uh, rbf SVC. Yeah, there's a little bit uh, slight improvement in the RBF because it's now uh, around 70%. Of course, in order to find the optimal one, the best way is to loop over the different learners and the different scalers and the different extractors and, uh, and cross-validate validate them and then try to sort them based on their uh, uh, performance based on their mean and the one with the highest mean will be the best so here i'll give you an example where you have the set of learners the set of scalers and the set of extractors that will be inside a distributed loop so the first is the to loop over the learners in a parallel manner and then the second one is to loop over the scalars in a parallel manner and then the third one is to loop over the extractors in a parallel manner using this particular pipeline signature where the categorical feature is hot bit encoded together with the numerical feature which is dependent on what scalar to use what extractor to use and what learner to use so this will be instantiated by the different combinations of learners, scalers, and extractors. And then we cross-validate this particular pipeline, compute its mean accuracy, standard deviation, and then get the elapsed time so that we will know how long this particular pipeline uh, finishes its execution. And then we collect the result into this uh, data frame where the first column is the pipeline signature and then the second column is the mean performance, standard deviation, next, and then the elapsed time, and then the fold across flow validation, the number of times. And we are using uh, threefold cross validation. And then we sort them based on their mean performance. And okay, so let's run this. This will run about uh, 12 seconds, I think, in parallel time, or 18 seconds. So the parallel time is 18 seconds, but if you uh, sum all this serial time, it will uh, require 18 minutes. So parallel processing in Julia is, uh, makes things much faster because uh, it uses these, the available cores for extra processing speed. Thank you.
And finally, let's uh, show the final result. Excuse me. So you'll notice that in our previous uh, uh, evaluation, we noticed that linear SBC performs really good. And uh, this one, in the final result, linear SBC is really the, the best one using the robust scaling and no uh, feature extraction. So you'll notice here that the result uh, indicates that the top tree does not require any feature extraction. Um, only the scaling uh, steps are necessary or important. And we also notice that the stochastic gradient is also doing uh, better than the rest. So you'll see that it's in the top tree. And as we've noticed also the, uh, before that the pruning, uh, the tree or the pruning, prune tree um, classifier is the one that uh, performs worse. And um, in the final result, it also indicates that prune tree is the worst. And for the for the runtime, linear is VC is nine seconds. Um, using robust scaling so most of the i think the the speed uh, um, effect uh, it was uh, the main difference is that the robust scaling um, made it slower but for example for pow uh, using power transform with linear svc it's only it only takes two seconds and so on and so on so I think this now concludes my presentation. Thank you very much.